What's going on, everybody? Skittle Kicks here, and I am back at you with another episode of American Truck Simulator. I am rocking this really awesome Mac D686 truck that I got at the Steam Workshop. Painted this retro blue and uh, orange color with the matching trailer. Yes, indeed, it looks freaking amazing. This is probably like from the very early 80s. Um, so, you know, it's very retro to me. It's like over 40 years old. I love the sound of this truck. It sounds amazing. And uh, yeah, if you want to uh, get this truck, of course, I'll link it down below in the description and uh, you can have some fun with it. Check out the interior. It's pretty Spartan, I'll tell you that. It's just a traditional day cab, gray interior, no GPS, so you'll, you'll see my map on, so that's why. Uh, but yeah, I love this thing, it's so amazing. It's absolutely so cool. So yeah, we'll be driving this. We're gonna be rocking some cargo, and I believe we're gonna be going to Wyoming, so stay tuned for that. See you all in the- All right, folks, here we go. We're ready to rock and roll. Oh, better turn my headlights on here. There we go. Ooh, that's a nice display. It's looking really good. Oh, looks like I came into the right place. Yep. I couldn't actually find where the lines were, so I just kind of just did the natural skip it. So, sorry, folks, so I got to keep my map up. Unfortunately, there's no GPS in this truck, so you'll have to bear with it. Yes, there is. Where's the GPS in this vehicle? Uh, it's the, uh, it's on, so when you're in the custom shop. Oh, it was there? Okay, see, I didn't see it in the interior selection. Doggone it. Oh, well, that's fine. After 100 there was no, yards, there was no GPS in the old days. Yeah. You know, military probably had it, but civilian did not. Oh, I love this truck. Oh, I think we've really scored well on some of these old school trucks, man. Like these old Macs, and like I said, you know, like I said in the other stream, I I wasn't really that big into Macs, but this one was actually really fun to to configure. Yards, turn left. Yeah, I really like that. Turn left. So anyway, all right, I'm on Holmes. We're about to cross onto Holmes, but I got a red light. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Go straight. Okay, that's what happens when you don't watch your mirrors. <laughs> did you already did? I clipped a car. JJ. Yep, I know. And a watch. I want McDonald's. I don't even know how fast I'm going because I don't have a gauge on that. That actually tells me. I've got cruise on, but it's still sitting at 45 right now, so I don't know how many times I've hit the the go faster button. What a purple, purple, purple. A button. All right. Coming into the mountainous areas of this land. So beautiful up here. Of course, your cell phone service would really suck through here. <laughs> and good luck getting satellite up here. Right. <laughs> or a good internet for that matter, because you know this is probably never going to be developed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going to stay at 55 right now. Yeah, dude, I still cannot believe that my, the, my Kenworth uh, literally, when you hit the cruise control and inc the uh, increase uh, speed, it would like go over 200 over 200 miles an hour. I'm like, how is that even possible? Like no other truck does that. And that's an SCS truck. That's not one that's uh, uh, modded. Oh, listen to that truck! I got to roll on the window here. Old school crank windows, yes, please. Sounds so good. So. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is like a 275 horsepower, and this thing can get up there, man. This can get up and boogie. I'm impressed. Yep. She's very smooth, too. It's about how you shift. 
the sure beats that Volvo I bought. I may sell the Volvos and buy some more Max. But you ain't gonna get me to switch from Kenny's though, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still stuck on those things. Are you sure about that? Yeah, but I bought I might actually buy another one of these uh trucks and uh, paint it another retro color. See what my Jake break sounds like. Okay, the Jake's a little weak compared to the cats or whatever. But that's okay. It's the little engine that could. Oh, this is not a gradual one either. This one you gotta kinda turn sharp in. That's no bueno. Okay, where do you want me to go here, boys? Okay, there's the arrow. So it's right here. All right, here we go. Gross vehicle weight is 47,077 pounds. So roughly 47 tons. No, I'm sorry, not 47 tons. Whoa. Wrong math. What's up? Turn right. That is wrong math. Yeah, I know. I can't math. That's Skittle math, man. But remember, I didn't have my calculator, so that didn't work. Calculator. Calculator. I will calculate later. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I forgot two thousand. So it's actually uh, half of that. The tonnage is actually half of what the actual is. So if you have forty-seven, uh, forty-seven thousand pounds. Divide that by two. Left. After 50 yards, turn left. Because it's 2,000 pounds per. Turn left. Uh, do I want to get gas? No, I'm good on gas. Be a short run anyway. Oh, it's. Oh, it's telling me to turn left. It's a cool truck. I like how it's telling me to turn left, but it's right. Really? Uh, that's what it told me to do. I'm like, the fuck? Well, that's interesting. Uh, welcome to direction. welcome to SCS Logic. <clears throat> the one thing, too, about these smaller engines and smaller loads is that you don't burn your gas as fast. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend people. Diesel. <laughs> it all comes down on how you drive. Well, then I should be uh, getting one mile to the gallon the way I drive and all the <coughs> all the accidents I get into. Oh, good lord. I've already got the alert. Our customer expects your stuff quickly. What? 202 miles and I was expecting it soon. Are you kidding me? Whatever. Whatever. This was a rush order, right? Huh? I don't. I didn't think this was a rush order, was it? How do you? How, 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 it up. Oh, maybe it was rush. I didn't know if it was, but whatever. Whatevs. It must have been. Well, no, I thought it was a green one, but I, I don't remember now. Oh well. Single green, uh, single green arrow of our one. Right, but uh, I, and I don't think this was three reds or that, because that's an urgent delivery. You asshole. <laughs> now I don't understand. My trailer should block most of those lights. Daniel Jackson. Dajo, asshole. <laughs> yeah, Dajo is an asshole. Am I going to argue with that? No. <laughs> no, nah, he could be a pretty cool cat, but he could be a smart ass.
a upgrade on the equipment. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna look into this. Well, that's cool. And I'll uh, claim my sales the inevitable microphone upgrade and the, uh, getting myself the audio interface as well. Yeah, by the way, folks, uh, tune into the podcast because uh, Dazzle and I are going to be talking about gear. Oh. Studio quality gear versus cheapy gear. This is going to get a fun topic. You know, to be honest, I'm surprised we've never really done that before. We've never even really ta- chatted about it. Jeez. Thank you for bringing that up, though. Well, I think it's about time that somebody talks about it because I think there's a lot of really bad advice out there. And with you, with your and my experience combined, we've probably got about fifty years worth of knowledge, mm. you know, of what's of what works and what doesn't work. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong; not everything is horrible, especially even when it comes to pricing. But there are some brands where you just got to avoid them. You need to be like, hmm. Yeah, honestly, we'll think before you purchase. We'll talk more on the podcast. Exactly. Honestly. We don't want to give too much away. <clears throat> but it will be a fun topic, though, for sure. And remember, everything is an opinion. We can make recommendations, but it's just an opinion. Mm-hmm. It's what... This is coming from two guys <clears throat> that know this, or at least technically know well, let's We're put it this way. I mean, I I've, I've been an audio junkie since I started playing music. And not a complete expert. I got well, and I'm not I'm not an expert in like the nuances, but I just know what I like and I know what's worked. You know. Like I said, we're not the experts where those experts that you guys see on YouTube. No, we're not in we're not influencers, okay? We're not influencers. God, I hate that term. We're influenced by... Or affluent. <laughs> <laughs> We're influenced by each other to create better content. Yeah, exactly. There you go. <clears throat> Dazzle tries to influence me and I say, no. <laughs> I try to influence him, he's like, okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, now nah, who would asshole? Some I've seen truck drivers do is they'll actually turn their flashers on when they're at a, actually at a crossing gate. I've seen that too. Yep. Some do, but not everybody. But I, th- I think it's, I don't think it's a law. I know that uh, buses have to do it because they actually stop before every crossing. All buses. Yep. There we go. Oh, doesn't kick up until 30, it looks like. So cool, you actually can still see the train. That's really neat. Can knock this down a few degrees. That should be about 60. Welcome everybody back to another ATS stream. Hopefully you guys are doing well. It is a Friday night. Friday night party night. Friday night truck at night. Rock Springs discovered. I am hosting this one. So if he uh, if he starts clipping out and going crazy, you can blame my Wi fail. Go straight. Oh you dum dum. Wow. Love it when cars cut you off. Oh sheesh. Man, this comes up a lot faster than I think it will. If 
If I was if I was on face cam right now, yeah. <laughs> Okay. You know, stay in the rear where you belong. <laughs> Must respect okay, your elders. Then. Okay, then, bud. You know, maybe I should have painted this truck red and then uh, literally named him Mac and then paint on the side of it Lightning McQueen. No, no. I think somebody's already done that with the mod. Uh, Are what the hell? Or? Why do I see the flag down there? Yeah, fuck. Uh, yeah, we I did. To turn, we were supposed to turn in at the, uh, looks like it was at the, uh. Yeah, but just before that stop sign. You all right, janking all the things. Ah, you. Ooh, watch my trailer. There we go. Yeah, I didn't realize I missed my turn. Wow. I guess I didn't hear the... I just, I did not hear the nav. Keep left. After 50 yards, turn left. Illegal U-turn, whatever. Yeah. Hello. That's what people did back, the, back in left. the days anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, that's a millennial term. YOLO. There I go. Fuck off. Damn millennials. <laughs> I'm a Gen Xer and I'm proud of it. Because we're literally the forgotten generation. Nobody gives a shit about us. You're a what now? Okay. It's just... Pa okay, so, yeah, it's just past the... Uh, Really? Where is this at? Oh, there Take it is. Yeah, I, I didn't see the entrance right here. You got it. Yep. Motion platform will be amazing on this. Yeah, see, now that's a lot quieter in the truck, so yeah, I, I, I should be able to hear that, but where it was last time, I should not have been able to hear your horn from that the distance that I was. It was the train horn. Yeah. All right, here we go. We are here. Yes, we are dropping off some containers in here. Yep. There's the drop-off point right there. You have reached your destination. Now, okay, the trailer's in the back, okay. The perpendicular line is the back of the trailer. Mm. For me, anyway. So I'm too much of a weakling to actually uh, do anything else. <laughs> All right, shut my engine off. late so it cost me one thousand one hundred eighty one dollars and four hundred and fifty two xp because i'm late i was four hours and 19 minutes late are you kidding me